Hello, my name is Fran Sands. Welcome to MyBoxingCoach.com. I hope you've had a wonderful Christmas. Um, I wanted to look at a fighter who's um, recently come to my attention. He's a Japanese bantamweight, Naoya Inui. Um, and boy, what a fighter. Um, I wanted to pick out, there's always ways you can look at, look at a fighter. And I wanted to pick out five style elements or five fearsome factors that you can maybe replicate um, to bring alive your training or to help develop your boxing style. Now it's interesting, this guy's nickname is The Monster. He's got a very high knockout rate so far as a professional. Um, he even had a high knockout rate as an amateur, which given that he's like light flyweight, flyweight roundabout, that is quite unusual. I think he had round about 75 amateur bouts, KO'd 48 or 50 of them. KO'd or stopped, so stoppages as well. But even so, that's really quite a high, that's a high rate of, of stoppages for for a little boxer, a smaller boxer. Um, so yeah, probably the monster is very well suited. Um, but I wanted to give these five style elements, these five fearsome factors for you to be able to maybe replicate and bring into your own boxing style. Okay, fearsome factor number one about um, Naoya Anui is his stance. He has quite a wide stance at long range. Lots of leftovers from his amateur career. His style, like most pro boxers, like virtually all of them, you know, they learn the core fundamentals of boxing in amateur boxing clubs, in Olympic style boxing. Um, they learn how to become professional when they go into the pro rank. So they learn about long duration fights, about managing energy, about trying to enhance punch power. He has a long, quite a wide stance, okay? And his body weight is very slightly forward. It's almost imperceptible, so my body weight central there, it's on the rear leg there, central. Inui is very slightly forward. Quite common, another guy who does this is Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather. There are two things about this stance. Number one, the wider the stance you have, the more fine control you have about being able to just move out and in, okay? To at longer range, to be able to really punish the body, uh, the long range punching, the long range counter punching. Also with this body weight very slightly forward, it helps trigger the opponent, okay? It's that kind of teasing the opponent to throw the, the punch. So if your stance is narrow, you just don't have that ability to push in and out. Okay, you're going to be more of a, a sort of plodding fighter. Much better to have a wider stance. Gives you more control. That's fearsome factor number one. Now, it's interesting because when I looked at Inui, what really stands out is his prowess of body punching. He is outstanding at body punching. One of the best out there. Well worth really understanding. And the, the rest of these fearsome factors really lean towards that. Number two, crushing power, okay? He has horrendous power with straight shots, with hooks, with the lead hand, with the back hand. Doesn't matter, he can knock you out with either hand with a whole host of punches. The reason that's really good when it comes to being an excellent body puncher is that a lot of the time the opponent is wary about getting hit up top. Understandably, you don't need to be a really powerful puncher to hurt someone to the body. You need to place the shots correctly, right? So it's about making sure that the shots are going below the rib. So you take the perfect zone when you're hitting someone to the body. Take, find the base of your sternum. Take three fingers below that. And then an inverted V or letter V upside down, all the way down around so when you feel around the bottom of your ribs that zone just below your ribs don't bother punching the ribs it's too tough a structure but you've got your liver here you've got a bit of spleen here so these are prime targets because of his power opponents are wary about getting hit in the head with him you know they that's what's subconsciously going on 
so they tend to leave more openings down below. Anything you can do to enhance your power, improve technique, most, you know, natural punches are really born, but you can enhance your punching power with improved technique, improved strength and conditioning, enhanced speed, all of that kind of stuff. That's face and factor number two. Face and factor number three is um, triggering with the jab. Um, we mentioned face and factor number one, his wide stance. Now, what that means is, as we said, he can use this jab. So he triggers, 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 bam, 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 bam. Okay, so it's there, there. Often, he stretches the stance. Okay, so he leans that, uh, just creeps that front foot into range, ready to unleash with the, the counter hooks. The jab triggers the opponent all the time. He does not wait for things to happen. He makes things happen. He's an active counter puncher. He's looking to trigger the opponent. Get using the jab. Fearsome factor number four. Center line, target, flank. Um, so this is about when he if you have, think of, think of an opponent standing in front of you, you think about, tar, you think about the centre line, so right from, from the navel all the way up to the chin. That's centre line, attack line, okay? Then you have flanks, right? This side, this side, and then you have the target, which is the head or the body. So generally speaking, though, so there's three things. In terms of target, a general principle, if you hit one target, an opening will be made at the other target. So if you hit the head, often openings will open up down below. Vice versa, if you hit down below, if you hit the body, openings will be created to, up top. This is why you often hear the, 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 the term body and head, body and head. When, you know, you'll often hear trainers shout that, body and head. So it's bang, bang, it's about taking attacks from low to high and from high to low. Generally speaking, if you hit the center line, so if you hit with uppercuts or straight shots or even hooks from the side stance into the center line, openings will be created on the flanks. And if you hit one flank, an opening will be created on the center line or the other flank. This is a really interesting concept because it allows you to build combinations in a structured way, a more structured way. So you can go centre line, your left flank, left flank, body, head, switching stance, switching flanks, centre line and targets. Right? Inui is fantastic at this. He regularly strikes the centre line, and he will try and use uppercuts from, and he'll try and land an uppercut. So he, there, so the uppercut goes textbook, uppercut drive off the back leg, hip goes round and up. And he'll aim for here. And that uppercut will either hit here or it'll hit here. It can even hit both. It gets shot twice by the same bullet. Bang, into the chest, into the sternum, up under the chin. Then, he turns that attack from the centre line head, so from the target of the head, to the flank of the body, and he brings the hook in. So it's one, two. I've seen him, he did Donair with this in the 11th round. Donair, Nanito Donair, serious operator, outstanding fighter. How he managed to come back after that body shot. Left hook to the liver, absolutely deadly, superb. So he goes from centre line to flanks and from target to target, knowing that he can create openings. And that is one of his textbook sort of combos. Uppercut to the head, lead hands hook to the body. And he makes it work. Centre line, flank, target. Really important concept for creating your own openings. And fearsome factor number five, he's a risk taker. He leads with hooks. He 
He lets them go. He even leads with hooks to the body. These are high risk combination, starter combinations. You know, if I go to lead with the hook to the head, straight line, backhand right into my chin. It's a risk. But look, fortune favours the brave. Um, these guys take calculated risks, do so with intense speed, hyper aggression, really try to overwhelm and assault with these aggressive combination openers. Um, but he does take those, start with those high risk maneuvers. Not all the time. If you start just constantly unloading with, with lead hand hooks over and over and over again, it's only a matter of time before you get tagged with a big backhand because the opponent will see it and, and will just, just let one go, bang, side of the chin. Five fearsome factors that make Nauia a Nui, one of the top guys in, in world boxing. Um, so I'll leave it there. Download the Beginner Boxer Toolkit. Five ways of structuring your training regime to get the best possible outcome from your boxing training, whether you're in it for fitness or for something more. And subscribe. Okay, my name is Franz Sands. This is myboxingcoach.com.